Okay, good morning class. Today I'm going to talk about causal words and phrases. And I'm going to go over and review with you a little bit your flashcards and how to use them. You should have already created your set of flashcards, which consist of different causal words and phrases that are actually in your textbook. Oops, let me adjust the camera here. Sorry about that. So you have your causal words, has an effect on, has an impact on, decreases, leads to, etc. Okay, you have those, let's say, all laid out on your desk. Okay, those are your causal words and phrases. Your causal words and phrases um, is a term that's most social research is interested in and in looking at cause and effect relationships, okay? Causal words and phrases help you to look at cause effect relationships. So that's gonna go in the middle, middle when you get ready to write your hypothesis. So look at your, we'll talk about the independent variable which should come first at the beginning of your hypothesis or your sentence. And say, here we have a question, how concerned are you about the possibility of contracting AIDS? Or here's an even better one, employment status. The person is, respondent is either employed or unemployed, okay? Say this is gonna be your independent variable that you wanna select. So you wanna look at employment status and you need to link it with a causal word or phrase. So your employment status, we might be able to say leads to, whether you're employed or unemployed leads to, now let's pick out a dependent variable out of another set of um, variables that I have. Whether you're unemployed or not might have an effect on, let's see. Looking for a really good, the number of friends you have. Okay, so could we say the independent, dependent variable could be your employment status uh, has an effect on, let's use that, your employment status, you can see that there is your independent variable, has an effect on the number of friends you have. So that's how you would just lay that out as your hypothesis sentence. So your employment status has an effect on the number of friends you have. And that is just how simple it is for you to put together a hypothesis with causal words and phrases and different variables for Social Work 300. Now I'm gonna go over this again in class. Um, it's not very hard. Hopefully you've done your flashcards correctly and this will be very easy for you. So enjoy, have fun, and I hope you learned something.